Hey friend, Ryan May here, an audio engineer, and more specifically, an audiobook engineer in the Apple or Mac world. So when recording audiobooks, narrators need to learn not just the acting and the performance side of audiobooks, but they also need to learn all of the technical side of things as well. In audio recording, there are tons of different audio software platforms to choose from. But did you ever think of using Apple's free audio software rather than spending hundreds of dollars or needing a third-party program to perform all of your audio tasks like recording, editing, and mastering? Well, in this video series, I'm going to walk you through five days of audiobook narration in GarageBand from how to set up your tracks. Yes, I said tracks. But Ryan, narration is a single voice process. Yes, but there's a little spin to punching in and punching out within GarageBand. But I'm also going to show you how to do the basics of editing while you're performing a punch and roll style of narration. And all the way to exporting and sending off your finished raw files to a publisher. Now, of course, there is more to audiobooks than just recording and sending them off to an author or a publisher. You need to process them into a finalized version for the world to listen to. Now, if you're new to mastering audiobooks as well, I want to help you out with that and get you started with EQing your voice to maximize the clarity and presence in your narration. I want to give you my free narration EQ guide. Just head to thehomeaudioproject.com slash EQ. It's all for free. Just head to the link here on the screen and I'll also have it linked down below as well. Now today, as we kick off the series, we're going to talk about setting up our file management system, GarageBand with narration tracks, and then getting your pre-rolls set up for playback listening. I hope you're ready to dive in. I'm Ryan May. And this is Five Days in GarageBand Narration. What we want to do first is let's say that the publisher or the author already sent us the manuscript to study and prep for our narration. Right here, we're going to be working on this book called run away from reality. This is from the publisher. They sent us a manuscript. But what we need to focus on first is our file management organization. I highly recommend that just keeping everything on the desktop for ease of access is going to be the best place to get started. And to begin our file management, what we want to do is create a folder on our desktop where we can access our entire project. Here's what I recommend you do. On the desktop, you can right click or control click and select new folder. This creates a new folder here. Then we can type in or you can copy and paste the name of the book into this folder. This folder will be our complete project folder. Then we'll simply take our script and drag it into the folder. We double click our folder and there's our script on our desktop and ready to access. Now we just have to set up our GarageBand session. So let's do that now. I'm going to close this and Let's open up GarageBand. Let's start with a brand new empty project. That way we don't have anything that will be in our way for potential mess ups or distractions. You'll first see this when you're at the new project section. Once you create the new project, this project you can then save and access during the complete duration of the book that you're working on. A couple things to note. Your input device will be set to your interface. Mine just happens to be the SSL 2 Plus. And the output will be set to your interface. The rest of the stuff we don't need to worry about. 
So let's hit choose. And because this is narration, we just want to select record using a microphone. If our microphone on our interface is already plugged into input one, then in input here, just make sure that input one is selected. One circle means mono, two circles means stereo. But we just need mono for a single voice. I'm getting sound from my SSL, and I can hear it from my SSL, which again is my interface. Hit create, and now we're ready to go for our track. Our track is already set up for one track, but in this case we need to set up two for a playback track and a record track. So I'm going to simply just hit the plus button up here to create a new track. It's going to ask me the same dialog box before with record using a microphone. You just hit create. Now I'm going to rename this. I want to keep my top track as my narration track. That's going to keep my finalized chapter files and also the playback so I can hear when I need to punch back in. To rename it, you simply just double click and I will call this chapters slash playback. Down here is going to be my record track. Simply double click down here and I'll just name it rec for record. Hit enter or return on your keyboard. One thing to note, you can see that when we're on the track that is a light gray, that's the track that I'm talking onto and you can see my voice moving. When we click up here, my voice then moves to this track. So the track that's highlighted is the track that you'll be recording on. A couple more things that we need to do before we get started. We're going to move down here to the plug-in phase and just make sure when we're recording a raw audio track for a publisher that all of our plugins are off. You can simply click down here and move over to this dial, the on-off switch, and turn it off. And let's turn off the master echo and reverb. I'm going to switch up to here on the master track and just make sure all of these are off as well. Verify with my effects and use my master button to shut off all of the effects. Now I'll switch back to track. Now we have just a couple more things to check. We're going to move up here to the top menu and go to GarageBand and click on Preferences. Just to verify that we don't hear anything while we're recording. So we're going to go to the metronome and just make sure that the volumes are all the way down and to the left. We'll check our MIDI and audio setup and just verify that we do in fact have our SSL or our interface selected. We're good to go there. Now before we begin, we're going to go up to the record menu and just check our count in. For safekeeping, I recommend having our count in to two bars. Now our session is complete and ready to record. But one thing we need to do first is save it. So we can save it to the proper name of this book so the recording session correlates with the book that we're recording. As you can see at the top here, it says untitled dash tracks. So we still need to name this session and have a place where we're going to save it. We do this by simply going to File, Save As, and a dialog box will appear. And remember, we created a folder that correlates to the book we're recording on our desktop. So on the left hand bar, we're going to click Desktop and find that folder that we created. Our book is called Run Away From Reality, so I'm going to choose this option, and now we're inside of that folder in this column. So I'm going to name our project Run Away From Reality Session. We'll call it Rec Session 
for recording session. Then we simply just hit save. Now that we have set up GarageBand, we can verify that our GarageBand session is in our project folder. So what you can do is just double click on it. Make this a little bit bigger. And here is our script. And here is our GarageBand recording session. So whenever we want to access this, we will just simply double click on our books folder. And then we can access the script. And we can also open up our session by simply double clicking and it will load. And now everything is set up for us. We have our chapters, our playback track, and our recording track. All of our plugins are off. Our count in is set to two bars and our preferences are set. Hey, thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And don't forget, I want you to pick up my free narration EQ guide. It'll help guide you into the right path using EQ on your voice for the books that you narrate. Just go to thehomeaudioproject.com slash EQ and download it today. That's it for today's video. I hope to see you tomorrow as we dive deeper into GarageBand narration.